I'd love to inspire you how I built this vault in just six weeks for a thousand bucks on all the materials, ready to overwinter in sub-zero Canadian climate. In the last two years, I have done a fair amount of construction in Brazil, Northern Europe and Siberia. The hands-on experience was balanced out by numerous sketches of the passive home for sub-zero climate. I drafted these blueprints in winter time. In summer 2023, I will finally be building our own family home for Zoya, myself and our seven animals. The footage that will be recorded during the construction of our home will also form an integral part of Wattelarium training. However, the first phase of our course has already been completed. If you are one of the 85 people who have pre-ordered our course a while back, I'd like to thank you for your trust in me and your patience. Perfecting an Earthship is not an easy task, especially if you're not just doing it in theory, but in practice. Since May 2021, I have recorded over 300 gigabytes worth of high quality footage that I will start releasing in just a couple of weeks. In essence, you'll learn how to construct a self-heating and self-cooling Earthship hybrid for a fraction of the price of a conventional home. It will be easier to build with less man hours spent on site. Some of the elements, such as the US liquid waste approved grain black water treatment, as well as the cooling tubes, are taken as is from my cranials at Earthship Biotecture. However, other systems and structural elements necessary for living in an unpredictable sub-zero climatic conditions, I have infused with robust strength that only catenary geometries can provide, as well as the well-being that one experiences inside that biogeometry offers. Not only do these gouge shapes are soft and nice to inhabit, they provide extreme strength whilst only using a fraction of materials that of a conventional roof or wall. Being a hands-on natural builder who is self-financing all the R&D, I'm constantly figuring out ways of building a home on a shoestring budget whilst thinking of others who will replicate the methods I present. With these step-by-step -step video instructions, I hope to inspire you on how I built this waterproof and insulated robust vault. So this is how our training will roll. I will show you how to transfer complex geometries from a paper sketch or CAD drawing. I will then show you how to prepare the ground and how to dig a level foundation using a water level and simple tools. You will see how to dig in sandy soils as well as hardcore clays using basic shovels and hose. To explain the construction of the foundation, I will teach using my Brazilian build, my Siberian build as well as the one on my own land and cold climate. In the theory class, I will explain the necessary alterations that are required for various soil types, water table levels, as well as climatic conditions. For example, waterproofing to avoid the wicking of the moisture up the walls, as well as the insulation to stop the frozen clay from lifting up your home. You will also learn how to do a very simple soil test in order to get the right mixture to be placed in Hyper Adobe. Make basic tools that are necessary to speed up the one-man or multiple crew construction. Make geometrical door and window boxes that you will use in an aircrete dome as well as the super adobe walls. Make a really cool 3D egg compass that we've developed with Arthur, who was our host in Brazil, that allows two teams to work simultaneously laying bricks in an egg-shaped dome. Make the necessary details for the connection between the vaulted roof and the walls. Use buttressing, which are important structural pieces that keep the vault from popping out when pressure is exerted from above. Use Hyper Adobe for advanced techniques and finishing touches. Build a dome using Hyper Adobe, including the window eyebrow details. Set up the passive air conditioning pipe and channel that air into your home. Once we get to the vaulted roof, I will share the following two methods with you. Firstly, a ferrous cement one that we constructed in Brazil, as well as another method using timber that I recently had the pleasure to build with Collier. Seven various arched vaults later, Collier developed this method during his military engineering career. Remarkably so, starting from scratch, in just six weeks, at five hours per day, we constructed this 333 square foot, 30 square meter home, including the triple glazed windows, all for $2,000, including labor and all the building materials. It was made from C-grade timber that we had to clean up ourselves. 
This low cost and fast construction method blew my mind. I mean, three friends can build each other home in three months if only each one of them had just a foundation ready. This means anyone can build it because none of the three of us were macho Rambos. Kole is 70, Vasya is 61 and I've just turned 41. This home can withstand an atomic bomb and cannot be spotted by any satellites because it is buried by Earth. This means that you can build it on yours or somebody else's land and the chances of authorities ever spotting it are close to none. And even if they ever do, you can just dismantle the entire structure, excluding the arches, and move it to a new location. It is a quick construction method, even for those of you who are older and do not have much strength. The wood has also the ability to stretch and shift in case of a seismic activity. Designed for Canadian and Northern Sub-Zero climate, this buried low-tech and super affordable vault is a breakthrough building technology. And this is what you're going to learn in this part of the training. How to operate a chainsaw, although for the vault construction only a skill or jigsaw is required. How to take down dry logs out of the forest and position them straight into the right place. Make sockets in the logs or the super adobe for the placement of the arches. Make vertical and horizontal pillars. Make a bearable back wall from the waist offcuts. Make glue lamp arches without using any glue. And how to place them so they don't pop out. Create fresh air intake that is passively heated for winter. How to calculate basic engineering and what I do in order to make strong and sound structures without an engineer's help. How to waterproof the vault using low-tech and robust methods. This hot waterproofing method is especially designed for flat roofs as well as vaults. How to make a clay lock so that the grass turfs do not rip and pull down the insulation. How to make a door for cold climate using insulation and triple glazed window. How to source all the windows for your home under 200 bucks. How to install these triple glazed windows without using frames. And of course my favorite, how to design using curvilinear bi geometry shapes and sacred geometrical proportions will have an extensive theory class where you're going to learn topics such as principles of biological design, mechanics of Wotelarium Earthship Hybrid, live brainstorm session dissecting John Haidt's Solar Passive Design Book, how to build in clays, loams and sandy soils, how to build alone without climbing into debt. I will share my latest double story Wotelarium that Zoya and myself are actually going to be building this year. And why as well as how did I get to this specific design after hundreds of bioarchitecture sketches. By using nature's geometries such as domes and vaults we're able to get away with 10 times less materials whilst achieving superior strength as compared to a conventional home. This is what my teacher Nadir Khalili, who is an Iranian architect proven in USA using a US-based engineer. This Watelarium training will be intermixed with live sessions. I will send you one to two lessons every single week and that following Sunday we will discuss them in great details and you will be able to ask questions in anything related to these lessons. It is also a great chance to meet other community members who are builders just like you and me and we'll be able to brainstorm and discuss how to build in your specific climatic conditions. These weekly live sessions are a good practice that I have adopted in my recent drawing class. It keeps the training fun and interactive. Please join me in my new Watelarium course where you're going to learn how to build an Earthship hybrid at a fraction of the price of a typical Earthship. You can join our training anytime and if you have any questions about previous materials just ask it during one of our live Zoom sessions. I really look forward to be meeting you in our digital classroom.